Hello everyone, Mecha Prime here. Welcome to my first LP. Nah, I'm just kidding. I can't keep that up. Hello everyone, welcome. You're watching Let's Play Earthworm Jim with me, Mecha Prime. This game was released in 1994 by Shiny Entertainment, and it is probably their only game of note, aside from Earthworm Jim 2, of course. I chose this game because I wanted to pick one that I remember playing as a kid. I also wanted to stray away from Mario, Sonic, I want to be the bullshit LP, that kind of genre, you know. Anyway, I remember this game being a little on the difficult side, but it shouldn't be too bad. I'm going to keep a little bit of fail in just to keep it interesting for you, but I won't subject you guys to anything excessive. But that's enough of my banter. Let's get to it. Alright guys, welcome to New Junk City. And we're already into the action. Basically, Jim's got your standard platforming skills. He runs, he jumps, he climbs ladders, ropes, whatever. Hold on, there's something I gotta do here. There we go. Your enemies in this level are just crows and dogs. But it's a pretty short one. There's a secret down here. I can try and get as many secrets as I can remember, but... This is by no means one of those 100% I'm gonna get everything runs if there were such a thing for this game. Regardless, the basic story is there's this evil queen and her sister, Princess What's-Her-Name. Queen wants to rule the universe, so she creates this super... or she commissions Professor Monkey for a head to make this super powerful cyber suit. But the princess, her sister, steals it and escapes. So the queen sends her henchman, Psycho, out to catch her. And Psycho... Come on. Psycho encounters her over the earth and captures the princess. Before he does, the princess jettisons the suit out and it crashes down to earth, landing on Jim, turning him into this manly superhero. Jim overhears Psycho talking about what he's going to do to the princess with the queen, so I don't know what that means. Anyway, Jim decides that he's going to go out and save the princess standard cliche for any video game. Anyway, this level is basically very simple. It's a junkyard. You just run in through. It's the shortest, probably one of the shortest levels in the game that's actually a platform level. Earthworm Jim is known for its variety and gameplay, especially in the sequel, but we'll get to that one eventually. Jim can use his head to grab onto shiny hooks and things as well. As demonstrated. Of course, I'm wasting my best ammo, shooting nothing. These crows can get pretty annoying when they come in droves. I'll show you what they do. They grab at your head and it's just annoying. Oh. Those little blue orbs you see replenish your health. And the gun icons obviously replenish your ammo. If I can get over there. I'm wasting more ammo. The other move that I didn't really describe earlier, this helicopter thing I'm doing. If you press jump repeatedly, Jim can float down slowly like a helicopter. Anyway, this game is not meant to be taken seriously at all. It is totally silly. It's filled with cliche references, random acts of animal violence, and lots and lots of danger. Just about everything in this game is out to get you. 
All right, we're about to come up to our first sub boss, the Junk Pile Man. He has three forms. This first one, he just stamps the ground and tubas are falling on you. Second form already. He's actually really easy. It's this form you want to watch out for because if he hits you, you have to start all over again. <laughs> just like that. And now I'm in a small space. Want him to hit me. There we go. There we go. He can be a little annoying because there have been times when I was recording earlier where he just kept hitting me over and over and I had to start over. That red orb replenishes your health all the way. Find those whenever you can, because health is your best friend in this game. And shortly after the first sub-boss, we come to the first boss. I don't know what his name is, but he's like... I call him Fatterall. You just whip the boxes onto the springs. Avoid the fish that he burps out. And then he tries to drop tubas on you too, but you can shoot them off of the magnet before they come after you. After a little, I think it's three hits here, he can... There we go. There's a secret up here. Some health. Some more ammo. When he gets to the second form, he moves back and forth. Makes it a little harder to hit him, but it's not that bad. You just have to time it right. It's his final form that's a little bit hard because he constantly is burping out the fish and dropping tubas on you. Whoa. You don't want to shoot him because he does that. You can't actually hurt him while he's doing that either. Alright, this is where you know he's only got one more hit to go. And that's it for the first level. Destroyed. Jim hops on his pocket rocket and we're out of here. Groovy. Was it? Was it really groovy? I say no. Alright, this is a little mini game. It comes after every level. Basically, you're racing through the pod after Psycho, who I was talking about. He's a queen slug for a butt's henchman. Basically, you gotta try and beat him to the end. If you don't beat him, you have to fight him. Which can just be kind of annoying. There's three orbs you can collect. The blue ones are just for points. You can collect enough of them, you'll get a continue. The little lightning ones are shields. They can protect you from the asteroids. And those red ones are boosters. They'll shoot you off at a super high speed so that you can you know, move long. If you hit too many asteroids, you'll die and you have to start over. It's really kind of dumb. I'm not going to make you watch this more than this one time. I'm only showing it off. I don't think I'm going to get a continue out of this, nah. It's alright, but Earthworm Jim is the winner. As you can see, nothing is meant to be taken seriously here. Alright, that's enough of that foolishness. I'm going to say goodbye to you guys, and groovy. and groovy indeed. I hope you had fun. It's Mecha Prime, signing out. Down,